Hello and welcome back. My name is James. Uh, I'm a critical care paramedic and today we're going to be going through jugular vein cannulation and femoral vein cannulation. So we're going to talk about just briefly, you know, how does the process work and how to do it, right? And then maybe some of um, the pitfalls and some of my um, tips and tricks that I have learned along the way. So femoral is obviously very seldom. External jugular is very effective. Um, the research is iffy, you know, it says that we, like, it's got quite a high failure rate. But that is mainly because, in my opinion, due to the platysma. So the skin around your neck is a very, like, different kind of skin. It's very stretchy, not like the skin on our hands, right? So that's kind of part of the challenges. So how do we do a external jug? So we obviously need a big cannula. Uh, we're not going to go with anything smaller than a um, 16 gauge, right? Because we've got a big vein, we need to put in a big cannula. I'm just going to be putting it here just so you guys can see what I have here. Something to clean and we have a cannula. We don't really need a whole lot more at this point, right? I'm not gonna, you know, like tie down and all that stuff, but then again, why not? So how does this work? So the patient needs to be lying down or at least in a semi-fowlers because sometimes the jugular vein can just be collapsed. Um, if we look at the anatomy, it is running right there by the skin. But if you lie the patient down, it should be visible. If it's still not visible, you can actually raise their legs up um, or just raise them up slightly, which actually causes the jugular vein to then also distend. You can also um, push into the liver. Uh, sometimes that can also bring the jugular vein up if you are very, very desperate. Uh, these are just some of the like tricks that I have learned. So what's the process? So because the jugular vein is bringing blood back into the heart in that direction, that's the direction that our IV cannula goes. So my hands are clean, put, got my gloves on. Patient is cooperative or unconscious, right? You can't do this on someone who is having a argy bargy with you because you're right there by their neck. What you do is you lie them down and you turn their head away from the side you want to put. So this patient has got their head turned to their right and you can actually lay your arm gently on the side of their head to actually give you some stability in your arm. So like always, we need to be as clean as we can. We're going to clean the site, make sure that's clean. Our gloves are on, got this ready, and we have got our tie down ready. So what are we doing? So it's very clear where the vein is. It's very big, it's very obvious. Um, but the challenges, like I said, is that the platysma, the skin around the neck is very loose. So the trick here is that what you can do is that you can take the plastic that comes off the needle and you can actually apply it into the skin below the vein, right? So just above the collarbone. And what that does is it keeps your finger out of the way of the needle because you don't really want to put your needle towards your finger. We don't want to stab ourselves. But if you just have a slight, a slight um, piece of plastic or something else in front of your finger, it can really help. And then you want to pull the skin as tight as you can and kind of like you're putting up a IV line into someone who's a bit frail and their veins keep moving around because the jugular vein can kind of like, you know, slip a bit left and right. If you go into the skin just next to the jugular and you're going to then have to just push through the skin slowly because like I said, it stretches, you're going to feel this give and it's going to give away and the back of the needle is going to fill up with blood. It's your first flashback. Then just as you would with any IV, you're going to advance the cannula like that, and then you're in. So there isn't really a lot that goes differently with putting in something like this. What I find is that the biggest mistake is that people try to go on top of the vein and they just try to go straight through the vein, but that actually tends to kind of push it away. The vein kind of tends to slip, where if you go in from the side next to it towards the vein, so let's say this is the vein, you actually, rather than going from the top down into the vein, you go from the side and you join the vein on the side. How is it different? What is the major differences when dealing with the external jug? Well, we don't want to get any air in there, obviously, um, because we're right there by the heart. That's, you know, got more complications in it. Uh, we want to be, try and be very clean, obviously. And now what we're wanting to do is obviously make sure that we can then use this. So we're going to pull this away, throw it in our shops, and attach. This can then be tied down, but it's just, you know, it's going to go right over the plastic. So that, you know, doesn't really make any sense. But other than that, there isn't a whole lot to it. Like I said, the biggest things that I can encourage you to do is that you lie the patient flat, raise up their legs a little bit, turn their head away from you so that the jugular vein is showing. You can raise their feet, apply some pressure to the bottom by just above the collarbone where the vein runs. 
it comes up, don't go on top of the vein, go next to the vein, make sure you don't get any air in there because obviously we're very close to the heart. The only other thing that you would might actually want to look out for is that if you have a lot of pressure coming out of this. So if you do this and you hook up a bag of saline and suddenly the blood is traveling the other way up into your bag of saline and it's pulsating, um, that tells us that we're in the artery, <laughs> not in the vein. I would be very careful with that, right? Pull it out very carefully and apply pressure onto that for about a minute or two because that means that you are in the artery, not the vein, which is possible. So yeah, so that is your external jug. So. Let's set up for the femoral. 